The Palestinian Authority in Ramallah was caught off guard by Al-Aqsa flood operation on the 10th of July 2023, followed by a widespread Israeli aggression on Gaza Strip and continuous incursions into various areas of the West Bank. The PA has been confused, hesitant, helpless and weak in responding to the evolving confrontations and in taking practical measures against these aggressions. This situation raises questions about the factors influencing the PA's position. First, determinants and influential factors. The most important factors influencing the PA decisions and positions regarding the Israeli aggression on GS and incursions into WB can be summarized as follows. The PA is concerned about its existence and role in light of threats from the right-wing Israeli government to undermine the PA, limit its role and accuse it of financing terrorism. There is a contrast in opinions within the PA regarding how to deal with the aggression on GS. The security obligations imposed by the Oslo Accords, requiring the PA to coordinate security with Israel, maintain security conditions and prevent resistance activities. The U.S. has called the PA to engage with its visions and arrangements in order to manage GS after the current confrontation with Hamas, the political rivalry with Hamas and the desire to weaken it as a strong political opponent, the positions of influential Arab parties that seek to end Hamas rule of GS, weaken it and enhance the PA's role in WB and GS, the PA's fear of economic repercussions if it adopts positions that provoke the Israeli side. The decline of the PA's popularity among Palestinians due to its weak position concerning the war on GS and its inability to resist the widespread incursions in WB. Second, the PA's position on the aggression. Through monitoring the PA's actions and positions during the 70 days of Israeli aggression on GS and the continuous invasions of WB cities, its stance can be summarized in the following points. 1. The PA had limited reaction, only declaring its rejection and condemnation of Israeli aggression without undertaking effective and influential action to counter it. 2. The PA participated in the meetings of joint Arab and Muslim action institutions and became a member. Part of the committees derived from these meetings to follow up their decisions. The PA prevented its security forces from confronting the ongoing Israeli attacks in WB. The PA worked to restrain popular activities in WB that support the resistance and oppose the Israeli aggression on GS. It limited the spaces for popular movement and prevented interaction with the Israeli forces. The Palestinian mission at the United Nations UN, along with some Palestinian ambassadors, have effectively clarified the Palestinian position, countered the Israeli narrative and worked to issue from the UN General Assembly resolutions to cease fire. The PA avoided calling for any joint national meetings to strengthen the internal front against the Israeli aggression. Conclusion Consequently, the PA is the candidate to take over the administration of GS, but it refuses to overtly acknowledge this, so as not to appear that it is coming riding Israeli tanks. For this would lead to further deterioration of its already declining popularity and loss of credibility. It prefers having transitional phase before assuming responsibility. Within a national consensus if possible and a broader vision for genuine progress in the peace process. Therefore, it is unlikely, in the coming days, that a substantial change in the PS position on the Israeli aggression on GS will occur. Given the continued influence of the mentioned factors and while it is waiting for battle outcomes to become clear,